Hey, we're going to be practicing today a shoulder stand progression. So looking at different options, variations um, of the shoulder stand. Um, this is kind of usually one of the first inversions that people might start practicing. Um, and it's also worth knowing there is um, sometimes if the shoulders are a little tight, it might feel that there's quite some tension on the neck. So we'll also explore a little bit of yeah, how you can kind of release that and um, different versions um, that you can do instead if that's the case for you. If you've got the time to warm up before, that would be fantastic, even if that's just a few sun salutations. Um, since usually we practice shoulder stand right um, towards the end of the practice when the body's already uh, warmed up and the, the, you know, the muscles are kind of working and a little bit more flexible. So you can start the practice coming to lie down on the back. And we're just going to be playing a little bit with rocking back and forth, um, which is also an action that you'll kind of need to be familiar with for your shoulder stand. So on the exhale, you can rock a little back. So feet drop back, hips uh, lift a little up and then inhaling to come up. Exhale, rocking back and inhale. I'm just doing this a few times. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And it's a couple more times. And then you can just come down onto the back and set up with your feet uh, flat on the floor. Now we're gonna do the bridge pose, which is a nice similar thing because we have um, the weight, the back of the neck is on the ground, shoulders are on the ground, and the um, upper back is kind of lifting up, similar to the shoulder stand. Um, the difference is, of course, with the legs, it gives us a little bit um, less pressure on the neck and on the shoulders. So you're gonna inhale, lift up through the hips. See if you can start to walk your shoulder blades a little back. Hands could be on the ground here. And if you did wanna kind of try a similar position with the hands that we'll use in the shoulder stand, you could see how it feels to rest the elbows and uh, support the hands around the hips. If this feels quite intense, because it does um, it mean that the hips are quite high, you could instead interlace the fingers here, keep allowing the hips to lift up, and really see if you can ground through your shoulders, lift up through the chest, firming through the belly. Staying here, one more breath. And then exhale, you can just slowly release and just take a moment to hug the knees into the chest hair. Now the first version we're going to play with is an inversion of the legs, but with the hips on the ground. So this version is really nice if you're tired, if you've maybe got some lower back pain or maybe some kind of cramp feeling. Um, we use a wall for this, it's kind of, yeah, basically legs up the wall. So you can come to um, be close to your wall. You're gonna roll over so that your hips are gonna walk right up close um, to the wall. Feet can be extending up here, arms alongside, and then you can start to close the eyes. So we're just allowing the legs to be pretty heavy. The, the heels are resting, legs are quite relaxed. And there's this nice feeling of the blood flowing down from the feet, down through the legs. This is a great sort of position. Maybe if you've been walking a lot, running, legs feel a little tired. 
And since this pose is quite passive, you can stay here for pretty much as long as you like. But just for um, what we're doing today, we'll just stay here another five breaths. So just working on smoothing out that inhale and the exhale. And then from here, you can slowly just roll over um, to one side and gently coming back up again. So the next version, we're going to be slowly lifting the hips up um, towards that full shoulder stand. The next version is quite nice to try with a, a block as a support. It's again more of a passive, uh, gentle version of the shoulder stand. So you can come to lie down on the back. You're going to take your block, rest the block on the flat side um, <laughs> under your lower back. So there's this flat bone called our sacrum that you should feel just kind of heavy around the lower back that can just kind of rest down on the block. Legs are pretty relaxed here. Arms can be alongside. And you're really allowing back of the shoulders to be heavy here. And then you're going to reach the legs up. And if it's comfortable, legs can be straight here and you're sort of looking to find a place where the legs are quite effortless. So you might see if you bring the legs a little forward, that feels quite intense for the belly, maybe the back. If you bring the legs the other way, you might find you feel a bit out of balance. So you're just searching for that nice, middle place where the legs can be relaxed. The hamstrings were a little tight and knees could be a little bent, but same idea, you don't want to be reaching the legs too far forward or back, but just finding a nice kind of balanced position. See if you can allow your breath to slow down and lengthen. Eyes could be open or eyes could be closed. Staying here, two more breaths. And then you can slowly exhale, release. So just bringing the feet flat on the floor, slide the block out. Just allow your lower back to be heavy on the mat a moment. And then when you're ready, you can slowly come up again. So the next version, we're going to use the wall again um, as a bit of support. Um, as we're progressing now more onto the shoulders, um, I suggest trying to use some sort of folded blanket or towel um, to place under the shoulders. The head will come off the towel, but it just gives a bit more space around the front of the throat um, and the shoulders. So that can feel quite nice. Um, so you're going to place your you might have to kind of slightly adjust that position. You're going to place your kind of towel or blanket down. You're going to come up close to the wall. So your hips want to be right against the wall like we were uh, before. And the legs are up the wall here. Now I can just see my towel needs to come a little forward. So my shoulders are on the towel, my head is off. That gives a bit of space here. Just like we were in that other position, legs up the wall, we've got the back heavy, um, heels resting on the wall. From here, we're going to bend the knees, so feet are coming flat on the wall. And then you're going to press into the um, wall with your feet, press into the ground with your shoulders, and inhale, start to lift your hips forward. So you can see this quite similar to that bridge pose. Hands can come to the back here. You want to walk your feet a little up. So your knees 
hips, shoulders might be in line. So again, you might walk if you've got the space, shoulder blades a little together. If it felt quite intense, you might just be up a couple of breaths. If it feels okay, you can stay here three more breaths. And then on the exhale, you can slowly release. So hips are sinking down. Legs just resting against the wall. So we're just coming to that nice uh, legs up the wall pose again. If when you were doing this position on the shoulders, it felt less good, um, you could try um, working on the bridge pose that we did first with the feet on the ground and then over time progress to, towards this. We're gonna try it again and maybe adding a little bit extra on. So feet are coming into the wall. Inhale, press into the feet, press into the shoulders, lift up through the hips. So hands come to the lower back, elbows draw in. Feet might walk a little up. Again, try to slow through the breath. And then this time on the inhale, you can play with extending the right leg up, lengthen through the right leg and keep pressing the left foot towards the wall. And then exhale, right foot can come down. If it's comfortable, this time left leg extends up. Now try to avoid either leg coming more towards the wall or in front. We're looking for that extension and length Heel is right above your left hip. Slowly then exhale, release. Gently drop the hips all the way down um, to the ground. Legs can just extend a moment. And we'll just pause a few slow, steady breaths. Legs up against the wall. From here, you can roll over onto one side, slowly coming up. And then we're going to try a few versions of shoulder stand now without the wall. Again, I'd suggest using your uh, towel or blanket here for a little bit of extra support. You're going to come to lie down. So again, lining up, so shoulders on the towel, head is on the yoga mat. And inhale, you can first just lift the feet up. So very similar to what we were doing, legs up against the wall. Now you're drawing the hips a little back. See if you can bring the legs right over to begin with. And then you're walking your shoulder blades a little together. So this is important to give you space. Hands come to the back. You can bend the knees a little. And then legs are reaching up here. If this feels intense, you can purposely drop your hips a little forward. So less weight is in the shoulders. Legs can still extend up here. If you're a little bit more comfortable, you can come a little bit more into the shoulders, lift up more through the hips, extending through the legs. Try to avoid looking from side to side. And then slowly exhale, you can come back out. So legs come back over here. You're gonna roll slowly out, reaching the legs away. And then we're just gonna to come to a counter pose to open up here. So you come up onto the elbows, come onto the crown of the head. Coming to our fish pose, Matsyasana. Slowly exhale, release. Hands come to the back of the head, lengthening through the neck here. 
and then just rock the head a couple of times side to side. And then just releasing down and pausing here. Just come to a little mini Shavasana, so feet are falling out to the side, arms resting down. And then from here, you can bend the knees, roll onto one side, and come up to sitting again. So like any um, yoga practice, do remember to listen a little bit into your body. If some of these versions did not feel comfortable, stick with the variations that do. Um, and then you can maybe again explore after a little bit of consistent practice, how it feels to um, build up towards the, um, either the shoulder stand on the wall or the, the shoulder stand without the wall. I'd love to hear from you. So do share in the comments a little bit, you know, what your experience is um, with shoulder stand and how you found these different uh, variations. Um, and if you're wanting a few more tips on practicing yoga at home, um, check out the free resource. You can find a link for that um, in the description of this video. See you next time. Bye.